Twisters is one of my favorite films of the 90s, so did Twisters hold up to it? Let's talk about it. <laughs> Twisters. After a tragic event from her past, a retired tornado chaser is persuaded to return home to Oklahoma to work with a new team that has created new technologies to not only track storms, but possibly to stop them in their deadly tracks. <laughs> continues across Oklahoma. We've never seen tornadoes like this before, and we need your help. No, I don't chase anymore. Kate, we can save lives. I'll give you one week. I love Twister, the first film from 1996. Bill Paxton, Helen Hunt, like one of my favorite movies from the 90s. I definitely had a VHS copy of this film growing up. So when they were announcing that Twisters was coming out, I didn't quite know what to make of it. I thought it was going to be a really crappy movie, to be honest. I was definitely going into this film very skeptical. No way. And to be honest, I was blown away. This is such a great fun time at the theaters. It is a Hollywood blockbuster popcorn summer movie and it's exactly what you think it is, but even a little bit deeper at times and I'll get into that in a minute. But this is a fun time at the movies. It's exactly that and it doesn't really want to do much more than that. And I so appreciate that about this movie because while it does still feel grounded and realistic and it does have some, you know, like emotional parts to this film, it has that Steven Spielberg emblem, you know, spectacle to it as well. And that is so awesome that Lee Isaac Chung, the director, was able to weave that tone throughout this film very seamlessly, and it makes for a really entertaining film. Lee Isaac Chung is the director of Minari, a film that came out a couple of years ago that I really enjoyed. I thought it was probably one of the better films of that year. I think it was 2020 or 2021. Those COVID years blur together. The Dark Days. <laughs> Darkness, my old friend. Minari was such a great film. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And when I heard he was the director of Twisters, I kind of scratched my head at first going like, that's a really interesting choice. But now that I've seen the movie and I thought about it a bit more, it actually makes perfect sense because the way that Minari is filmed, I think they're on a family farm in Arkansas, but the way he captures that southern country vibe and just the way that it feels and looks and is hot, yet it's like very beautiful, that transfers over perfectly for the Oklahoma outback that this movie is set upon. Cinematography was great in this movie, not just for the beautiful landscape scenes, but also the way that they did the twisters in, in this film. There's like six tornadoes in this movie and they do them all somewhat differently enough that they stand out on their own. And thus brings me to the action and the CGI in this film. I thought this movie looked fantastic. The way that the twisters look, the feeling of them, the way that this movie sound, the images that they were able to capture, the action was different for each tornado twister that happened in the film. This movie is so well paced too because like every 20 minutes or so, there's a new storm that they're chasing or trying to survive. And so it keeps the pacing of this movie really quick like this movie's just over two hours and yet it really feels like an hour and 40 minutes because it just moves at a really good pace yet the emotionality of this film is definitely there and it is very well written it is a smartly penned script it's got a lot of things that it talks about without shoving it in your face like there's definitely things about climate change and science scientists actually being badass people and not just nerds and they're like the actual cool heroes of this movie and i love that they did that with this film Nerd. <laughs> and it talks about like corporations like ignoring the signs of climate change and stuff like that and but it doesn't ever shove it down your throat it's not like oh we gotta go after the corporate bad guy in this film it's never like that and i loved that they chose to do that. Then it brings me to my next point. The performances are awesome. I mean, the star power of Daisy Edgar Jones, Anthony Ramos, and Glenn Powell, and the three of them are awesome on screen together. Glenn Powell is just continuing his massive Hollywood streak of great charming roles and just like Hollywood blockbuster performances. And I think you can definitely see 
He is now blowing up as an A-lister movie star. I'm a fan of anything that Glenn Powell does. And that definitely started with Chad Ratwell in Scream Queens. I need you to leave because you're bumming me out and you're bumming Boone out. And we're just trying to have a nice day hitting golf balls at hippies. Daisy Edgar Jones is great in this film. I thought she does a really awesome job of like, you know, solidifying the movie and anchoring it down with its emotionality. I thought she was great in this film. And her chemistry with both Anthony Ramos and Glenn Powell in this movie are awesome. The three of them do anchor this film and have a really nice dynamic throughout the story. It's populated by a great supporting cast like Sasha Lane from How to Blow Up a Pipeline, Katie O'Brien from Love Lies Bleeding, David Cornsweet from Pearl, and soon to be Superman. Brandon Perea is awesome and hilarious in this film as well. There's just a really great comedic bunch of actors that populate the rest of this film and so the backdrop of this movie is so well supported the story and the tone of this movie feels like it's very similar to twister now this movie isn't a direct sequel it's some story arc beats that happen in the original film twister they definitely do follow in this movie for this movie they definitely went with the concept with if it ain't broke, don't fix it sort of thing. It doesn't feel as original as it possibly could be. The soundtrack to this movie is abysmal, okay? And if you are a country music lover, I guess you'll like parts of this film. But to me, there were some music drops in this movie that I was like, why are they playing this song? This does not fit here at all. And so I guess it kind of destroys a little bit of like the tone of that scene that they're originally trying to play. I'm not saying that the sound design or like, the instrumental music that's played throughout this movie fits this film well, but like there's like six or seven music cues in this movie that are like out of left field and do not fit the movie I felt at all and like the emotional uh, tone of the film. And they chose a lot of songs that have a lot of lyrics in it. So I thought the soundtrack was for the song selections, definitely off with this movie. No, God, please, no, no. The style and vibe and like the the emotional drive and punch of the film feels in sort of on the same spiritual pathway of Top Gun Maverick. And then when I was doing research, I found out that this movie has a story written by credit from Joseph Kaczynski, who was the writer director of Top Gun Maverick. So there is definitely like a vibe that this movie's going for, but I thought it worked really well. I like it a lot. Overall, I didn't have really that many issues with this movie. It is exactly what you think it is. It is a blockbuster summer film, but as long as you're okay with that, like there's some really amazing parts of this movie that I was quite surprised at. Some cool twists, some great character choices, wonderful directing, great writing, really good performances, amazing action throughout the film, and it moves at such a great pace. This is to me like one of the better Hollywood films of this summer it is definitely worth checking this out in theaters do not wait to see this on the small screen go see it in the biggest theater you can before i get my final thoughts on this film if you like this video please make sure you click that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this also comment down below let me know what did you think of this film twisters did you like this more than the original twister film what is your favorite natural disaster movie let me know with your thoughts and comments down below thank you so much for doing that even if you're not a fan of the original twister you don't need to have seen that film you can go into this movie totally blind and you will have an awesome fun time at the theaters so i'm gonna go ahead and give twisters an a minus <laughs> Thank you so much for checking out Mr. Teach Film Preach. Come back and check out some other video reviews such as Long Legs, The Bike Riders, and Hitman. Have a great day, everyone, and we'll see you on the next film. Stay focused, stay awesome, and as always, let's get taught.